Okay, just let me get this straight. I'm not saying that motion blur is bad and you shouldn't use it, but you should not use this motion blur button in the render properties because it takes way too long to render. So in this video I'm going to show you how to add motion blur to your animation without adding too much render time. So first you have to go to view layer properties, then to passes, data and now you're going to enable the vector option. Now you can render a single image and you're probably going to notice that there is in fact zero motion blur because we first have to go to the compositing tab. Click on use nodes then add a viewer node and a vector blur node. Now all you have to do is connect the nodes like this and now you have motion blur without affecting your render time. A little side fact. You can even change the amount of blur that you want. And now you just have to render your animation and enjoy your low render times.